Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. All right, so today's topic is going to be about something that I know I have personally gone through before and I know I've heard about it in the comments of my videos before in regards to something very specific when getting a tattoo. And that is the tattoo flu or tattoo sickness or something like that. We're gonna be discussing what exactly the tattoo flu, tattoo sickness is, why it happens, how to prevent it or at least make it better. And if you've never had the tattoo flu before, I'm very jealous. So have you ever felt sick? or ill after receiving a new tattoo. Not just exhausted, but like actually physically sick. Like you're experiencing some symptoms, like you actually caught something. Have you ever experienced that before? Maybe you're feeling nauseous or just plain old icky. This is something referred to as the tattoo flu tattoo sickness. Now, I think we can all kind of sort of agree. There are gonna be people out there that maybe don't agree, but for the majority of us, we can agree that getting a tattoo is not necessarily the most pleasant or fun experience. We enjoy getting tattoos. That's why we continue to do it. We love the artwork, but the actual process of getting a tattoo is not always fun. I'm sure there are gonna be people that say, actually, I enjoy the whole thing. And to that I say, I wish. So while the final product is great, the process to getting a tattoo is pretty traumatic to our bodies. It also puts a great deal of stress on our bodies because our bodies are sitting there going like, whoa, this really intense thing is happening right now. How do we fight it and make sure that it doesn't hurt us anymore? So because of that, we may in turn, after receiving a tattoo or even during the process of getting a tattoo, depending on how big the tattoo is, we may start feeling kind of Meh not that great. So what exactly is happening when you feel really rough after getting a tattoo? So rough that you're pretty sure you caught potentially a cold or something else while you were getting it done. Do keep in mind that when you get a tattoo, you are essentially wounding your body over and over again. Like think about it, a tattoo machine is poking you over and over again with all these needles in order to get this wonderful design. This is causing a great deal of trauma to the body. Body feels like it needs to respond. This is what people refer to as tattoo sickness, tattoo flu. It's not an actual flu. It's not an actual cold or anything. It's just your body's response to being wounded over and over again in a very short period of time. This is your body's response to the pain, to the act of getting a tattoo. It's kind of like when you actually do get the flu or the cold, your body is trying to respond so that you get better faster. So some of you may have never experienced tattoo flu or tattoo sickness before. I wish I were you because I honestly didn't experience it until I got a specific tattoo. And then after that, I get it pretty much with every larger tattoo. So for that, why do some people get the tattoo flu and others don't? The first thing is immune system. So if your immune system is weak, and this can be because of a number of things, like maybe you just already have a weak immune system because of an illness, or it could be something as you just didn't get enough sleep the night before, or you could even have been sick prior to getting your tattoo. You're over it now, but your immune system is still trying to recover from that sickness. Or your immune system could have kicked into overdrive during the tattoo appointment, like the second the tattoo started, your body was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't really like this. We're not sure what's going on. Let's get it right now. So your immune system either could be weak or could just be working overtime. Again, remember that a tattoo causes trauma to the body. So your body is reacting to that trauma and trying to either stop it or at least heal it while it's happening. You also may experience a great deal of tension and stress while getting a tattoo. I don't know about anyone else, but I get a lot of anxiety during a tattoo appointment, mostly because I know my pain tolerance isn't what it used to be. So I feel bad if I have to stop a session early. You know, most people can sit there for hours. I have to tap out about two hours because I just cannot handle it anymore. And so I get a lot of anxiety and stress built up because I'm sitting there going like, come on, you can push through, you can do this. This, which then kind of makes my body go into like overdrive of like, oh my God, something's happening and we don't think it's good. So that tension and stress really, is just not a good combination when working with getting a tattoo. And then what leads to the tattoo flu feeling is all that tension and stress has built up during the tattoo session. Once this session is over, it comes crashing down. It's nice that the tension and stress has been released, but at the same time, your body has been at such a high for so long that when it comes crashing down, you're just exhausted. So it's not like you actually 
caught something. It's just your body's reaction to the tattoo. So you may be sitting there asking yourself, well, maybe I've had the tattoo flu before, but what exactly comes along with having the tattoo flu? Like, what are the symptoms of it? It's a lot like having the actual flu or actual cold. So you'll have things like tiredness, soreness, nausea, cold, chills, maybe even a fever, as well as swelling, which is pretty typical for a tattoo anyway, and some weakness. That's why a lot of people call it the tattoo flu because it kind of has the same symptoms as the actual flu. So you're experiencing the tattoo flu. What can you do to get over the tattoo flu? Again, much like with the regular flu, you do kind of the same thing with the tattoo flu. The biggest things to do are to rest or take it easy. If you want, you can take over the counter medications, just be sure to avoid blood thinners. This goes before a tattoo, during a tattoo, after a tattoo, just avoid blood thinners. Also avoid alcohol. That's not gonna make you feel any better. You might forget about it briefly, but it's not gonna make you feel any better. So just avoid anything like that. Definitely take it easy. Keep yourself hydrated. Gatorade is a great option, but also water. But I know there are people out there like myself that don't really like the taste of water. So keep hydrated. Also make sure that you're eating nutritious meals. Make sure that you're eating meals or f just food in general that is high in nutrients because that's also gonna help the healing process. Yes, snacks and junk food are great, but they're not gonna aid with healing your tattoo or yourself if you're experiencing the tattoo flu. So when does the tattoo flu actually appear? It kind of depends on your tattoo. So usually, the symptoms of the tattoo flu will pop up within 48 hours after you've received a tattoo. However, some people have said that they start experiencing those symptoms during their tattoo, especially if it's a larger one or on an area of the body that is extremely sensitive. Now for me personally, I didn't start experiencing tattoo flu until I got my ditch done. When I got my hedgehog done over here, that was when I first started experiencing anything like this with the rest of my tattoos. And for the most part, it's been kind of hit or miss whether I've experienced these symptoms since then. It really depends on the part of the body. Like for me, when I get anything on my lower legs done. It's not usually a problem, but for some reason when I get my arms done, I usually experience some symptoms. So these usually pop up within 48 hours. More than likely you'll experience them within 24 hours. 48 hours is kind of like the long amount of time. 24 hours is the standard amount of time, but depending on the size of your tattoo, how long the session went for, as well as the placement of the tattoo, you may experience it during the tattoo session or immediately after it's done. So while the tattoo flu isn't like an actual flu, it does make you feel like you've caught something, but it's not anything to be super concerned about unless you start experiencing other things. If you notice that your symptoms are lasting past 48 hours, at that point you might wanna see doctor's opinion on things, but typically the symptoms subside after 48 hours. And again, the biggest thing that you can do is just take it easy on yourself and remain hydrated and get those nutrients into your body. Let me know in the comments below if you yourself have ever experienced tattoo flu. What was your experience like? Like what particular symptoms did you experience? Also let us know in the comments below if you're one of those lucky people that has never experienced it before because I'm telling you, I didn't experience it until I got my ditch done and then after that point, I swear that's what broke my pain tolerance and brought on tattoo sickness. But let us know in the comments below. At the end of the day, it's not fun, not fun to deal with, but it could potentially be part of the process. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, viewing patron-only content, and more. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time, bye all. Mm -hmm.